long, so I've got, I'm probably gonna go, which we'll talk about that later, but I'm probably gonna get induced a little bit early. Right now, I say, I've been saying like four or five, um, but we'll see. Someone asked, does Austin actually like doing YouTube videos? <clears throat> He, I don't think he likes it, but he's like, whatever makes you happy, babe. So he goes along with it, which I'm sure you all can tell that he is getting way more comfortable in front of the camera just because it's now like a weekly thing that we do. And Hey everyone, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It's Friday, March 17th, 2023. Happy St. Patrick's Day to those of you that are into St. Patrick's Day and to those of you like me where it's just another day. Happy Friday. I hope all of you had a great week. I have some tea for you and it comes via Joanna Forsyth, the daughter of Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar and the fifth daughter of the family. So let's talk a little bit about this video. She uploaded a Q&A to her YouTube channel and answered some burning questions from fans, which included what, how many kids she wanted to have, which I think you saw in the very beginning. She said maybe four or five. Uh, I do not, I'm not totally clear if that's like a set number or not. Uh, she answered some questions about the show and if she wanted to like what her thoughts were about the show being over. And she talked about her transition from getting away from pants. So all of the burning questions that some of her older sisters have already answered, but now we're gonna hear Joanna in her own words. And it sounds like Joy has disconnected from some of the beliefs of her parents, but is for sure holding on to some of the other beliefs that she was raised in. And it sounds like her decision to not wear pants is actually very recent compared to some of her older sisters and required a lot more thought and consideration on the part of her and Austin. So this is a Q&A that she uploaded and if you haven't been checking out her channel, she has been uh, uploading weekly vlogs to her YouTube, sort of keeping everyone abreast of her pregnancy. She went and saw Ginger. Uh, she and Austin debated or joked about moving to Los Angeles. She's 30 weeks pregnant with a baby boy and this is going to be her third baby. Uh, she has had a fourth child, which was Annabelle, who she delivered at 20 weeks and was a stillbirth. So this will be her third live baby that she will be having. So it's going to be a little boy and she talked a little bit about names that she's picked out and what their plans are for going to school. So all of the Duggar girls have lived a life where they've basically been taught that they don't have any occupation outside of being a mother and a wife. And they were raised in the in the Institute in Basic Life Principles through their parents, Jim, Bob, and Michelle, who became the spokespeople indirectly for this group. And the cult, which is what her sister Ginger has called it, or cult-like, I should say, uh, had a lot of strict rules around modesty, dress, what you do for school, what kind of uh, things you can do, whether what kind of media you can watch, what kind of radio you can listen to, what kind of music you can listen to. And there was a lot of threats of really bad things happening if you stepped out of the umbrella of authority. Well, when Joy decided to make the decision to move over and get with Austin, she was actually still pretty young. She was only 18 years old when they got engaged and she was 19 when she had her first child. So it's pretty wild that she's still like, I think 25 and this is gonna be her third baby. Now, if you have three kids by the age of 25, more power to you. Uh, it's we're in a day and age right now where women are waiting a little bit longer now to have children. So it's, I guess, less common that women have children younger than previous generations. Anyways, Joy, one of the first things she talked about was whether or not she missed filming the show and what, 
and what her thoughts were about the show ending. Check it out. You miss the TV show. Um, I do not miss the TV show. I, um, I think it was best for our family for it to end, but I do miss the film crew that we had. Um, I was with some of those guys since I was like six. And so for me, like not like seeing them on a weekly basis and then not seeing them um, was really weird. It was best for our family at that time to get off and to not be on TV. Um, I think it would have been best if we probably would have stopped before then too. Um, but I do not miss the, the actual TV show itself besides the film crew. It's fascinating to me that Jill, uh, Jill also was like not interested in being on the show. And Ginger had also said that she wished the show had not continued. Jill had said that she wished that Counting On had never happened because she didn't really want to film that show. And she felt like she had to fill it, film it. And Derek had sort of made comments about how Jim Bob had kind of forced her to participate in the show and they had somehow signed contracts with her wedding that said that she would follow up. And I think for Joy and for all the kids, frankly, why would you want to be a part of a show that has your life out there and you have no, you reach, you literally get no benefit from it. Your dad is not paying you to be on the show. You're considered a guest on his family show. Your dad is being the one that's making all of the money. He's profiting off of your births. He's profit, profiting off your weddings. He's basically having you work for him for free and then he gets the money and does what he wants. And after, you know, 20 years or whatever it was, he flips you a starter house as like a gift that you have to fully rehab. That hardly seems like a fair trade. If you had to give up your whole life, your whole privacy, and you get like a starter house from your dad who has millions of dollars in the bank. So I'm not surprised that she wished the show would have ended sooner. She said that she's glad her sh the show went off the air when it did because the family needed the show to be off the air. I think that Jim Bob would prefer the show to be on TV still, if we're being completely honest. I don't see him being uh, the kind of guy that wanted this to go off the air because it made his family such large chunks of money. But it's you know, it would be hard if you've grown up around a certain amount of people and they've been a part of your life for such a long time, like the camera, the crew, the sound guys that are there every single week and you don't see them anymore. That would be like losing family members, but it's kind of like anytime a job ends, you don't see your coworkers all the time. So just glad to hear her take on that. Just like digging deep into the Bible. What does the Bible say? Um, and it wasn't something that I was like super like persistent about studying because Honestly, like I had always wore skirts my life, my whole life. And so there wasn't anything in scripture. There isn't anything in scripture that's black and white on dress. And um, it talks a lot about modesty, but um, I feel like you can be modest and wear pants. And so that's kind of where we came to. Um, and I do, I do try to be modest in my pants, like I'm wearing pants and not things too tight or too short. Um, but. I think biblically we just kind of looked through scripture for a long time and feel like this is okay for our family and where we are. And so anyway, that's the short answer on that. This is interesting because it seems like it took them a lot longer to come to the decision that she should wear pants than it did for the other sisters that were married. Uh, I think for when it comes to like Ginger and Jeremy, Jeremy's parents and her, his mom wore pants. So I don't think it was anything that was a big deal to him. And I think for Derek Dillard, it was like the same thing, like his mom wore pants. And I think probably the same thing for Ben because his sisters wear pants and his mom wears pants. So for them, it might've just been a way easier decision. Like, well, I don't care if you guys wear pants, like, or if you wear pants, it doesn't matter to me. You know, the sad thing to me is that they even have to have a conversation with their husbands about it, about if their husbands are okay if they wear pants. And it sounds like it took her and Austin a lot longer to come to a decision that it was okay. Uh, Austin grew up in a very strict family, probably stricter than the Duggars. And his mom is not a pants wearing woman. And his dad is kind of against that as well. But it sounds like she said, as long as I don't wear super tight pants or super short pants. So I'm thinking like short shorts is what she's talking about. 
And so perhaps she's saying that like she's not gonna wear skinny jeans, maybe leggings, I'm not sure. It's pretty standard in today's look that you don't have to wear immodest pants. So maybe she won't wear holy pants, I'm not sure. I guess maybe no butt, you know, raising yoga pants maybe, who knows. But she is come to her own decision about pants and it's that she doesn't agree with what she was raised in. And when she went to the Bible, there was nothing in the Bible that said she couldn't wear pants. So, I mean, it, it sounds like they're taking some steps to look outside of the box about what their thoughts are on about that. But she did mention that they do plan to homeschool and she isn't sure what they're gonna use for curriculum. Right now she's working on phonics. So when it comes to some of the things that she's changed, like she's changed the physical aesthetics of, I'm not gonna wear a dress all the time. I'm gonna allow my kids to wear pants. Uh, she also allows her kids to watch different things on TV. They use electronics, which is different than how she grew up. I don't know if she actually gets to music at all and what her thoughts are about like music or alcohol. They didn't really mention, she didn't really mention that either, but it is interesting to hear her take about pants. She spent a little bit of time talking about what her goals are for the year, which included being more purposeful in her time as in studying the Bible and being in the scriptures and being more intentional about it and talked a little bit about how the more that you go into something, the more desire you'll have to do it. It sounds like she was having maybe a little bit of a lack of motivation or perhaps just being extremely busy with having two little ones to have the time to focus on Bible time and reading scripture. It's a challenging co component when you're in, I believe, fundamentalism. And I can only say this from my own experience of being in a church that was really heavy into being like in the Bible every day is that sometimes in life, there's just not a lot of time for that. And it's completely okay to like not be in it every single day. And I think sometimes there's fear that if you're not, something bad is going to happen or you're somehow going to lose it. And there's a lot of pressure that's put on people is what I'm trying to say, that they have to be super spiritual and super in their faith. And if they're not, they're somehow less than or not as devoted or as worthy. So I hope she doesn't put too much pressure on herself thinking that if she doesn't have a desire to do this every single day, that somehow it makes her a bad person. Uh, she talked about the gender. She's having a boy. They haven't picked out a name. She's excited to have this. She said that she's had the little boy. Uh, she said that they'll probably name him after she gets to hold him. They didn't want to make a pick a name out and then name him and then have the name told to everyone and then change the name after having the baby. So she wants to have some time to figure out what his name is once she gets to know the baby. Uh, the kids are busy. She's going to homeschool them and it doesn't sound like she's going to use the IBLP. You know, she did talk about being a more purposeful parent and so that sort of and intentional and that to me was still a little bit more of the IVLP speak so I think you know with Joy and Austin I think it's a little bit more complicated because they're so both so ingrained ingrained in this culture where the other daughters that got married married men that weren't from the IVLP I Austin is from the IVLP so it's a little bit harder for them I think to sort of shake some of these beliefs because they both come from the same place Jill had a husband that didn't grow up in this, so he had a completely different worldview, and it was easier probably for him to challenge some of those thoughts. Same thing with Jeremy and same thing with Ben. And if you have a husband that comes from the exact same worldview, it's gonna be harder to break out of the mold and to take steps to get away from it. And some people just don't. You know, I think one of the biggest challenges in covering this group is that a lot of people expect that the Duggars are gonna suddenly just like break free and get out of this. And it just doesn't work like that. You know, in these cultures, more people stay than leave. And it's because it's hard to give up what you know. It's hard to give up your family. It's hard to give up your friends. It's hard to give up your community. And it's also hard to give up the fact that, and and believe, and sort of let go of the fact that you were lied to about what you were taught. And that, that just starts to unravel your whole life. And so for a lot of people, it's just easier to stay and because they're scared of leaving and then they're held there in fear. They've been indoctrinated to believe that if they go, horrible things are going to happen to them. So as she takes more steps growing and, and, and unraveling things, I think she's becoming more independent, but she still has a pretty patriarchal alpha male husband. So on the one hand, while he supports her having relationships with people, it seems like she relies on him a lot for 
guidance and decisions. So I'm sure he's still very much the, the man in the family making the decisions, but it was great to hear her take on the show and it was great to hear her take on pants and uh, she definitely is showing and I hope she has a great birth and it's successful and she doesn't have any complications. I know she's been uh, really nervous with this pregnancy because of her she's being high risk. And I also like the fact that she's not wanting to have a million kids because she does have complications and she I think says like has blood clotting issues. So it's probably better for her health and her well-being that she not have a ton of pregnancies uh, that are high risk. It's hard on the body. It's hard on the kids. It's hard on everyone. So tell me what your thoughts are about this in the comments below. Bye guys.